What's going on guys? Welcome to part two of this post-ban Simic ramp deck. Uh, if you did not check out video one, I highly recommend you do so. You can kind of check out the deck in its entirety, uh, but also see obviously a few awesome games. Uh, we ended up playing four uh, because one of them really only lasted till turn three. Uh, we really didn't do very well though, I'll be honest. We only got like one win. Uh, so we're hoping to do a little better in this video. Uh, I did kind of play test this in between recording, uh, just to see, you know, generally speaking, how well it was performing, and it actually was doing really, really well. Um, so, one, I know we got mana screwed in one of the games, uh, the second game, I believe. This is a weird keep, but we're going to try it. Um, and then I know, you know, some other things happened uh, outside of that, but um, I think we just got, I'll say, slightly unlucky, for lack of a better term, uh, in at least one or two of those games now. Again, I misplay all the time, things are not perfect, so that definitely has something to do with it, but um, I think that was definitely part of it. Uh, definitely block the Dreadhorde Butcher here, we can't let that thing go too crazy. Um, let's get this down, get a second Grazer in. Uh, really, really happy we kept all these Grazers, to be honest. Um, they probably have some removal spells for us at some point, but... Uh, we have Nissa coming down next turn, which is really, really strong. Um, chances are they've got some shocks here, or at least one shock. Uh, but if they're using those shocks to burn out grazers, I'm fine with it. Let them burn those out. That's totally fine. Um, ooh. I think we go for the Nissa play just so we've got, um, a little bit more longevity here. But the, uh, great, or the Elder Gargaroth here. Really, really nice. Super excited for that. Uh, we will go ahead and get in there for three. Um, this will eat a removal spell, I'm sure. Yeah. And that's fine. Um, I'd rather this eat the removal spell than the Gargaroth. So I'm fine with that. Uh, and they are now only down to two cards, which is very, very worth noting. Um, continuously block the Butcher, obviously. It's just the more problematic of the two. That is an interesting card. Hackerbat. Uh, don't see that very often. Let's get this in there. Down to one card in hand. Hopefully not a removal spell, but obviously that's a worry. Um, so we'll do the best we can to mitigate that. But um, let's see. So they could... I'm going to attack in here. Um, they can give this death touch or, you know, trade it off here. But... Um, I think we're kind of wasting an opportunity if we don't go for this, so I'd rather do this now. They can trade off, and that's totally fine. We do need to make sure that they are not getting more and more stuff on the board. The worry here is maybe an Embercleave. Um, okay, they just give up. Uh, Greater Gargaroth, man, or Elder Gargaroth. I think I keep saying Greater and it's Elder. Uh, really, really does some work against a deck like that, so fantastic. Absolutely love that. Let's jump into game two. A nice little uh, easy uh, easy win there. I like that. Um, I do really like this deck. I like the idea of just a good solid Simic ramp deck. Um, obviously, without Grow Spiral, it doesn't have that turn two kind of instant speed stuff. So you don't get to do like the Brazen Borrower plus Grow Spiral, uh, leave up and then see what happens. But uh, we still have some really really good plays in this deck, and so I'm really excited to uh, to hopefully get this going. Uh, Another double Grazer play, but we've got the Gargaroth in hand, uh, as well as a nice Hydroid Krasis here. So pretty happy about that. Um, all right, do this, and we'll do this. Get another one of these down. Um, this is just great setup. Again, it's if they are red, there's a chance that they could be kind of a mono red list that just maybe had a slow start. Um, or maybe they're an Izzet deck, in which case just getting some stuff down to block maybe future Phoenixes or something is great. Looks like it is an Izzet deck. Okay. And exactly that instance, so very, very happy to do that. Um, let's just play Uro here. Uh, I do like the Hydroid Krasis, but um, I think we're actually trying to get to this Gargaroth way quicker here. A lot of times the decks like this have burn uh, to try and deal with a lot of creatures, and if they just don't have a lot of burn, we're in good shape. Um, we'll see, of course, but... Okay. That's fine. I'm happy to block that. Still take a little damage here, but, you know, could be worse. Um, 
Do we do this, though, is my question. Um, I don't think so. I think we're going to do this. Get that down a lot sooner. Uh, just because this very efficiently blocks here. Now, they can power this up and they can make it very difficult to block it, uh, which would certainly be bad, but we'll do the best we can to figure out what we need to do. And if we have to take a hit, we have to take a hit. That's totally fine. We can also just block with a grazer. Uh, but this coming in just means we get to hopefully do a good bit of damage to this, either Royal Scions or just straight to them, uh, depending on what we need to do here. Uh, we do not want this thing to ultimate. That is for sure. That is a very strong card. Uh, and then next turn, of course, we have Hydroid Crisis to refill our hand, draw some cards, uh, and gain a little bit of life. So if we do take some damage this turn, that's that's fine. Uh, we'll figure out what to do after that. Um, also, just want to mention, we have just a couple days left for our Double Masters giveaway. So if you would like to enter that, you certainly can. Subscribe to the channel, comment on any video with hashtag Double Masters, and that's it. Uh, that's all you got to do. Uh, as soon as you do that, you are entered to win. Uh, the winner will be chosen on Monday, uh, which I, uh, I'm really, really excited about. I think it's going to be a really fun time. Um, all right, so let's do this first. Let's attack. We're going to attack here. Um, I'm going to spread out some damage here. I think that's going to be the best play. What's great about this is we have Brazen Borrower backup. Uh, so depending on what they do, we'll figure out what we need to do. Um, and then if we don't have to do anything, we just get to Brazen Borrow. I expect something here. <clears throat> All right. Now, because this has, uh, yeah. So, because this has Trample, we still get the damage in. <laughs> All right. Very, very nice. Two very quick and efficient games. They're only at seven minutes. Seven minutes. All right. Well, let's go for our last game. This has been a very, very smooth sailing video so far. Um, and already, I think that we're seeing, you know, given decent hands, you can really do a lot. I think, um, you know, we certainly misplayed a little in that first video, but I do think a couple of the times we were playing, we just got a bit unlucky. It happens. That's just the nature of the game. So you can't be upset about it. It just happens. And that's what we got to do. But um, this is one of those hands that is very risky. Uh, if we can get one more land, we're in amazing shape because we can cultivate and then we'll have uh, more than enough, most likely to get to one of these. We're going to try it. Um, I don't feel super strongly that it was a, uh, a good idea, but we'll do the best we can. Um, oof, and there we go. Uh, yep, that's the downside. <laughs> okay, that is helpful. Uh, let's do this. We're gonna make the, uh, the play of definitely getting a Cultivate down. <laughs> uh, just because it ensures that we get our land drop. Um, and then next turn we can Elder Gargaroth. And then with Sublime Epiphany, we are in amazing shape. If we can get that down, um, at the right time. That's fine. Are going to need one more land here, but getting this down is a really huge swing. Let's see what we can do. I really, really like Gargaroth. Such a cool card. Wow, people just give up with Gargaroth. <laughs> that's, that's the take. We are learning that people just give up with Gargaroth. This was less than 10 minutes. We are at 9 minutes right now with a Simic Ramp deck. I didn't see that coming. Um, okay, well, that was really quick. Uh, three straight wins. We didn't do so well in video one, but we made up for it this time around. To, to make this short, I will say, uh, Simic Ramp still seems very, very good. We lacked a little bit of consistency in that first video, but I think that was more down to chance, not necessarily deck building. We actually were short on lands in a deck where we have 26 lands uh, and a lot of rampers. So I think we were just getting a little bit unlucky there. But regardless, I think this deck does a lot of really cool stuff. Sublime Epiphany plus Elder Gargaroth, insane value. You essentially just get to play the Gargaroth and then leave stuff up. Uh, and see what happens. And I think that uh, because you get to play that very proactive in the first few turns, but then very reactive after the fact, 
Uh, it's sort of like a reverse co control deck, which is kind of cool. Um, and it works very, very well. It just gives you that opportunity to really take over a game very, very quickly. So I love this deck. I do recommend it. I do think it's very, very solid. Try it out. Maybe you can come up with a better configuration. Um, maybe there's some different things we can put in here that might be really, really fun to try out. Uh, but other than that, I think this is a really solid deck. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below as always. Uh, and of course, subscribe if you're not already. We'd certainly appreciate the support. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you very soon for the next gameplay video.